I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. So I'm gonna get up in here and we're gonna unload this trailer. So today we, we cut wood yesterday and today we're gonna offload it and then I gotta work on the chainsaw because the chainsaw, um, the filter is clogged. So I gotta take it back to the uh, air compressor and um, blow it out. So that's what we're gonna do today and then try to cut some more wood. and blew it out. Just trying to clean it up a little bit with this uh, air. Get this pressurized here. Even cleaning up the little blade thing. Cleaning it up real good. And then he's going to begin just putting it back together. show you how it all goes back together. a little tree worthy of harvesting here and I'll see if we can uh, get it to do what it needs to. Here at the campsite this morning fixing on this saw and this festival goes on for another until Friday and we're all just camping out the whole week and uh, sitting by the campfire having great uh, a good bit of family time and and just enjoying life out here in the wilderness and uh, you know doing a little bit of uh, upkeep on our forest and <laughs> it's it's really uh, it's been a great family experience so um, sure enjoying the uh, how far Daniel did accomplish on his uh, pavilion. We put our little table under there and it's just made a, a nice uh, addition to our campsite this year. And uh, we've had uh, pecans. We had a friend that allowed us to pe pick pecans and we have a whole basket of pecans to shell and pick. And uh, we've had campfire pies and we've just really enjoyed this. I've been refreshing my little bouquet every morning with fresh uh, wildflowers, and it, and then it has we have a little piece of wood sitting in front of the basket here, and it, I think that just makes a beautiful little uh, little bouquet. And Daniel noticed that we have a package, and we just have no idea what it is right now, so but I thought we'd let y'all check it out with us. Here's a box opening for you. We'll show you our haul from Young Living. Let's see what we got, Daniel. Oh, we got paper. <laughs> we got plastic. We got soap. Our body soap. It's peppermint. You, peppermint cedarwood body soap. We've got dish soap. Two bottles of dish soap. We, go, we wanted to stock up on that einkorn granola. We like to stock up on that. We got three of those. We love that stuff. That is a that really good little snack. We've got some Valor soap. And in this little tube here is mystery. 
What's that called? Sleep Essence. Hey, that helps. I'll tell you that much. And Ortho Ease. This is Daniel's favorite product. I don't think he thinks he could live without that. The camp tent to get my phone. And I thought I'd just show you. Our tent right now does not have a floor. But you know what? It's really been comfortable anyway. I was just going to show you guys how our tent does not have any floor in it yet. Daniel decided to give up on cutting wood and sharpen his chainsaw blade. So he set him up a little rig here. So he can sharpen those blades. Here in a little bit, I'll have him explain it to you. Got a little stop back here. So there's a little stop back here. And it's only the teeth that are facing like that. So I skip that one. Do the next one, and then I just pull it back against the stop. By the way, if you ever take the chainsaw in to have it sharpened, this is exactly what they would do. This chainsaw, the chain will be as sharp as the day I bought it. He said the chain will be as sharp as the day he bought it. I hope so. That will help a lot, I think. That will really help things along. Okay, so this is actually a chainsaw sharpener. And does it come with this little clamp here? Or? Yeah, everything you see here, I, I just screwed it down to a bench. You just screw it down to a bench. And, just, and it swings up. So, so and then let, let me load this. Let's see if we can just what, well, what's the brand on that chainsaw sharpener? Sure, it just says chains of sharpener, so okay. Anyhow, one is about as good as so show, he's showing he's getting ready to load it. Let me see. So I'm sticking okay. the chain down, it seems like these two pieces of metal kind of as a guide. So you set the teeth right down in there because you got the bottom of the teeth. Not that this part's really all that great. Anyway, I'm gonna flip that up. And now, I'm gonna get this thing stuck. So what I'm gonna do, now that I got it in there, I'm just gonna kinda go to the first one, and then pull it back, and then I'm gonna make sure my sharpener is set correctly, and it is. So there you go. Hey. And then as you're doing it, you wanna kinda pull back so that the tooth presses up against the stop. Okay, he says, pull back so the tooth presses up against the stock. Huh. Actually, it's not as good as it Now, this is the first time I've seen Daniel use it, so... Um, yeah, this is, this is it's been a year. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Shows what I know. When we did firewood last time, I used it. Oh. That's how it was fun. I'm going to wind up having to use this more often. Oh, this is a nifty little tool. The problem is, you got to take the chain off and the chainsaw and you use it. Yeah. He said you have to take the chain off that chainsaw, too, because it's, uh, I don't know how loud that little motor is. If you can actually hear Daniel or not. 
I'm kind of repeating him. You say you don't have to use it more than once a year. You might want one. But you might want one. If you, oh, if you're going to have to use your chainsaw more than once a year, you might want a sharpener. Oh, yeah. Does it get limbs out of your yard? Yeah. So if, it, if you're only using your chainsaw to get limbs out your yard, you might not need this. But we're, like you can see, we have a forest and uh, we, we got to have a chainsaw. We get chainsaws are all the time. My wood burning furnace right behind me. And we have a wood burning furnace right behind him in our garage, which our garage is messy, so pay no attention. But anyway, and it's actually hooked up into the deck work of our entire house, uh, just like any regular furnace would be. And that's how we're going to heat the whole entire house this year so um, so yeah uh, the chainsaws are a must and, uh, and uh, Daniel enjoys cutting wood and, and working with it wood most generally so so far but we've been talking about what will we do when, you know, we get to the age that we just don't really enjoy that sort of thing anymore. And uh, so I thought it was funny. We watched another channel this morning, and that's exactly what he was talking about. So, <laughs> uh, so that was funny. Or I did. I watched it. And uh, I said, we were just talking about that. How did you know? <laughs> We're not the only ones thinking of that. We're not the only ones thinking of that. Yeah. And so one guy says what he'll do is just put up a bunch of wood and have it like stocked up for years. So that that way he doesn't have to have any no more any more cutting happening or much, or even much. So hey that's not a bad idea. Have wood stocked up for years, so that you just, if it, uh, something tells me maybe we're going to go to, uh, I, I told Daniel, maybe we'll do a rocket mass heater, you know, so you just, I told you already, you can, that was the last one I'm doing. You can use a, oh, oh, but when we did build that rocket mass heater, that was a lot of work. So Daniel's like, I told you already, that's the last rocket mass heater I'm doing, but <laughs> we'll see if we talk him into it or not.